Hi, Rory Singh here from the PowerhouseMarketer.com. Today I'm going to do a quick update here, Mirror Trading International. I am not an affiliate from this opportunity, uh, nor am I an affiliate of any MLM passive investment scheme out there, guys. Okay, I just got to say that because I'll do a video and even recommend people, you know, don't join something. And then other people will say, hey, man, we want to join under you. Where's your affiliate link? Okay, a lot of craziness happening online. Anyways. Uh, Mirror Trading International data breach exposes the shocking truth. What does that mean? This is what it means, guys, in a nutshell. This is the executive team. Uh, this would be, what's his name again? Johan. Just wanted to make sure. Yeah, that would be Johan up here, right? This is a picture taken from the Titanic movie back in 1997. But it's a representation of what's going on. This would be a poor guy, the little guy. Uh, played by Leonardo DiCaprio. See, I've got an arrow here. Investors get table scraps while the executive team is whining and dining. So that's Rose. And that was her um, fiance and her ruthless mom. That would be Johan over here and maybe his wife. So the executive team who are whining and dining off of the efforts of um, gullible affiliates. Some of the affiliates are going to hate this video review. But anyways, guys, we can't always please everyone. So for those of you who are unaware of Mirror Trading International, what it is, what it is is pretty well a uh, Ponzi scheme um, that came out back in April 2019. Revolves around the idea of passive income, right? Uh, and a network marketing compensation plan. This is the foundry here, Johann Steinberg, this gentleman here, uh, okay, um, along with his executive team and company are based in South Africa, okay. Um, now they've been posting some numbers for, the, for a very long time. According to Mirror Trade International, they have over 90,000 active members in over 177 countries and their numbers are growing daily more gullible people are joining daily um now even though i never recommended this deal and never and because of the red flags etc they've been managing to get they're in trouble with more people and more authorities than i have on this web page here but so far uh, the biggest one here is the FSCA, that's for uh, it's a uh, securities regulator in South Africa itself, right? So Mirror Trade International is in South Africa, that's where they're registered, but they're not registered to offer securities a passive ROI legally to the public. So they got in trouble with the FSCA, that didn't bother the admins because they pretty well collected a lot of money for themselves. The problem is they're in the hole, guys, right? Hundred million dollars. That means uh, in the hole, meaning that they, I don't know if they're going to be able to recover from this and actually pay you, the investor and the affiliate. If you're one of the uh, hardcore disciples that are promoting this scheme and living and buying, uh, living and dying by this opportunity. Okay, some of these guys here promoting this are, are getting table scraps, right? Like this guy here, but they're hardcore. They're like going down with the Titanic, right? Um, anonymous group leaks shocking info. Group called uh, Anonymous ZA dumped what it claims to be entire transaction history of MTI accused of being a Ponzi scheme. Okay. Claim denied by the company's management. Claim is being denied. Okay. Shocking numbers. This is what I want to talk about here. Mirror Trading International investors have invested. Look at this here. 22,984 Bitcoins, guys. $251 million. $251 million. Wow, a funds invested total of sixteen Let me just go over the numbers here. Sixteen 
16,503 Bitcoin has been withdrawn. That's like $180 million, right? So 250 million in, 180 already out. Problem is they're in arrears. <clears throat> Based on returns to MTI affiliates in their back office and yet to be withdrawn commissions. 17,247.04 Bitcoin is being owed. So that's even worse than 100 million. It's like 100. And I got to change that number up there. It's like 188. 0.7 million in the hole guys okay so what does this mean what does this mean this means we're going to explain what that means in just a minute here but look at some more numbers here look who's been making the withdrawals so back to the picture executive team's been making the withdrawals affiliates hardly get any of that money they just get you know get, bring their family and friends and feed their family and friends they bring the lions they, sorry, they bring the lambs. <laughs> they bring the lambs to the lions. They bring the goldfish to the sharks. Okay? And serve them up on a platter to get teensy weensy little commissions. Okay? Look who's been making the lion shares of the withdrawals. The lions, obviously. Here are some numbers based on withdrawals from founders and executive team members. Okay, so these are the names of the people here. I don't want to go into all these names. If you guys want more information about all these numbers and names of the executive team. What is that? I can't even pronounce that. Ignatius Bell, Ig Ignatius Michael, Clinton Marks, Alice Pod Podiger. I don't know. Miss M. Bell. Looks like a family of bells in here, guys. Kathleen mine king Woo! sounds like some rockefeller stuff is happening here guys crypto analyzer what crypto analyzer he's one of the affiliates here but crypto analyzer going anonymously who i think no i'm not sure i think he had an accent uh anyways doesn't matter where he's from i see him on youtube telling people that he's not a financial advisor but he's giving financial advice here all the time you know weaning people into the opportunity so executive team seems to be taking the lion's shares of the profit look at this here 2.9 million by this person right 2 million by ignatius michael bell whoa 1.4 million clinton marks right and on and on and so forth but look the top affiliates, they hardly ever get commissions. This uh, representation of their teams. These are just the top affiliate leaders, right? Uh, Janir, Pascal, Domini. I think I've seen this person come and give me some shady comments on my channel. No wonder I've seen that. Because lo and behold, they're one of the top uh, recruiters out there, right? And bringing the, the, the lambs to the slaughter. Okay, CEO response to data breach and leak. So pretty well, Johan saying, so what? Nothing happened. And then he's telling all of his affiliates to, you know, don't say nothing. Keep, keep a tight lip about the whole incident. Just shrug it off. Everything's business as usual. Everything's safe, guys. Business as usual. Everything's safe. Here's my prediction, guys. Okay. Um, I predict that the Ponzi scheme will end up collapsing. Okay. Um, and I think what's going to happen, and let's see, time will tell. You guys are going to be able to experience this. So, Johan and his executive team, they don't care because look at the numbers. This is just common sense. They already sucked enough of the life out of their affiliates, and especially the lambs the affiliates brought in, right? To pay them. The passive people, you guys out there, you guys are the main problem in this industry. A whole bunch of lazy people who just want to get rich by doing nothing. So you have a bullseye target on your forehead. 
So you guys are pretty well the passive lazy people. You're feeding these people your hard earned money. So I'm going to close this video off with this idea here. And this idea is a lot of you guys are on Facebook posting motivational stuff all the time saying stuff like, hey, if you have a job, um, you're building your boss's future, right? And you're building someone else's dream. And I'm going to say that you guys need to wake up and smell the coffee because you guys are coming in here and feeding some schemers, right? All of your hard earned money, because as you can see, uh, they're making some sizable withdrawals guys and what are they probably doing they're playing golf right they're traveling traveling the world on their private yachts and you guys you guys the affiliates and the, especially the passive lazy gullible investors you guys are gonna lose out you guys are gonna miss the boat entirely okay it's unfortunate it's unfortunate for you if you're thinking like this like hey i want something for nothing right so that's what happened when you want success handed to you the only thing that you get handed is your own ass guys is your own ass